Hi, Eric. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to Theo and Olaf. My name is Eric and in today's video we're going to talk about cat trees because cat trees are cool. So if you're wondering where Theo our cat might be, he's kind of a shy kitty cat. He's upstairs right now in our loft, hiding, sleeping, whatever you want to do. He does this all the time. But because, why do I say again? <laughs> but with me here I have Olaf. He is our seventh month old Samoyed puppy and he is not the greatest company right at the moment. He, he has been very lazy and tired, but I think in some way he is part cat because he does uh, love all of Theo's toys and he likes to drink from Theo's fountain that he never used. And he also loves cat trees and that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about the Armor Cat Cat Tree. So when Irene and I adopted Theo, one of the things we really had to get was a cat tree. You know, we had to get a bed, we had to get food, snacks, toys, but a cat tree was the most important because Theo would always hide under a sofa, under the bed, under bookcases, and even under little nooks. We had this little speaker box here. He'd always hide behind the speaker and we would never get him out. And he would even hide behind shoes in the shoe rack. And how he got there, we don't know, but he's a very determined cat. So we had to get him a cat tree. We actually have three cat trees for him. We have one upstairs in our loft, we have one in my office, and we have one here. And this one here is by the company Armor Cat, and we love it, and Theo loves it too. So because cat trees come in different shapes and variations and themes and what and sizes, you wanna make sure the most important thing is that your cat tree will be sturdy for your cat. You don't wanna find one that is wobbly. A lot of pet stores like PetSmart and Petco can sell a lot of flimsy looking cat trees and you don't want that because your cat can get hurt or the thing can just break apart in a second. And you, you don't wanna waste money on something and then have it to toss it out because it broke. Um, there was one time actually where I bought a cat tree and no matter how tight I, I turned all the pieces, it was still flimsy, it was always loose, it always come apart, and so I had to return it and it was no good. So Irene and I decided to go with the Armor Cat Cat Tree. It is a six layer cat tree and it comes with different little platforms. It comes with a box and a rope and a scratching post and Theo loves it a lot. Um, it's safe, it's so sturdy, no matter how much you move it, it will never wobble. And I think it's so far, it's been holding up for almost a, uh, a year now since we got Theo. So we're very happy with it. Um, and they have different sizes. Of course, you can go on armorcat.com and look up different variations of their uh, cat trees. Um, and I'm even trying to get my parents to get one because we trust this brand so much. Uh, I believe the, uh, the cat daddy, Jackson Galaxy, even has his uh, label on this. And usually I don't really trust a lot of Jackson Galaxy products, no offense to him, but sometimes, you know, money always sells. But with this particular brand, I really do approve of it and it's been a good uh, thing so far. Even though Theo does not use the rope a lot, Olaf uses the rope, Theo d does not use the rope. He has no use for the rope. And I don't think a lot of cats do like ropes for some reason. They like strings and rubber bands, but I think ropes can be too thick uh, for cats but he loves, he loves going to his little box. He loves peeking out the window. So I only have one issue with Armor Cat and it's not the cat tree itself. The cat tree is great. It's these little guys here. Hi, Olaf. <laughs> He's getting very tempted here. Uh, these little balls go on top of the cat tree. They tie them up to like a little loop and the cat's supposed to you know, play with it. But because Theo loves string, he always bites through the string. The ball falls from the cat tree onto the floor and into Olaf's I guess his space, his territory. And Olaf likes to claim these as his own, but because these are so small and Olaf is so big, we have to take them away because we don't want a little Olaf here to choke on these little balls here. They are cotton, um, they're soft and plush, so you know they're fine, but so we can wash them, you know, if they get dirty. And Theo still loves to play with these, even though um, the string is broken sometimes. We take off the string and become like little balls. He likes to like um, juggle around or kind of, you know, chase around the room and everything. So they're still pretty useful, even though they, they break off the cat tree. But we do have a baggie um, here. <laughs> because we go with them so much, we actually have a bag full of all these different variations of cat balls here. Um, cat toy balls, cat fluffy balls. And once one breaks, you put another one up. But these actually only last about 24 hours, maybe less, because again, once Theo sees his little toys hanging, he bites through them, they're gone, no more. And so that's pretty much it for that. So aside from the Armor Cat Cat Tree being durable and accessible for Theo, uh, it was also very easy to assemble. When we opened the box, it gave us clear and precise instructions and labeled everything exactly how it was. And so it was easy to uh, put together. 
took about maybe 45 minutes to an hour to assemble. And once that happened, uh, Theo just automatically jumped up, jumped up into the cat tree and he fell in love with it very quickly. He's always up there, um, basically almost at, I think at nighttime, he's always in this cat tree. So when I go to bed, I see him on top of one of the ledges, he's already sleeping and he finds it a good way to escape. You know, when if say Olaf is here, he goes up there to escape and find some solitude in his little cat tree. So if you're interested in purchasing a, uh, a cat tree from Armored Cat, you can use our promo code THEO15 at checkout and you'll get 15% off your entire purchase. And if you have an Armored Cat cat tree, let us know your experience in the comment section below. And as always, if you like this content, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for all things Theo and Olaf. Thanks for watching.